the Nintendo Switch. The controllers for it are pretty good, but what if we went to a cheap knockoff website called AliExpress and bought the worst controllers possible and tried those instead? I was looking at making a weird accessories video again. I hadn't made a controller one in a while because I thought that I had pretty much looked at every weird and wacky third-party knockoff controller that I could possibly find. But sure enough, while I was looking for accessories, I kept picking these weird controllers until I had so many, I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time. The first one I found is right here. It's a PlayStation 5 controller. Actually, to be more specific, it's for PlayStation 5, 4, 3, Xbox, Nintendo, and probably really anything you stick this USB dongle into. At an arm's length right now, it looks fairly identical. But for $13, it really can't be good. Also, you gotta factor in this. Quite frankly, I am now realizing massive USB. <laughs> this can't be to scale, right? There's literally only one way to find out. I added it to my car. These I thought were interesting. I've never seen them with such sticky out. I mean, if you flipped it upside down, they'd look like bunny ears. And I'm curious because if these end up being super comfortable, then it might be a revelation. At first glance, this wireless support Bluetooth gamepad compatible Nintendo Switch Pro USB. I'm not even reading the rest. The reason why it caught my eye though is because it's only $26 and it does say NFC, which means it's supposed to read Amiibo. I have many times bought controllers in these videos that claim to have an NFC reader chip in them for the low, low price of sub $40, and they never do. This is the first picture of it. Actually, it's a video. Can we take a second to appreciate the music here? The contrast between the happy-go-lucky music and that guy furiously tapping away at the controller at the end. Anyway, whatever. There's no shot that that has an NFC reader, and I'm adding it to cart to find out. Next, look at this, and uh, yeah, uh, you know why. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna buy it. I've been burned on these in the past, too, because they make the lights look so cool, and then you get them, and they're kind of crap. I don't even know if I want... I don't even, oh, whatever. Am I splitting hairs at this point? I just thought these look sick. $47, so they better be good for the price. I kind of think that these Goku and Vegeta ones are pretty fire. I kind of love this Arceus style too. I'm having a hard time deciding here. Look at that. That is such a fight. Do I get both chat? Oh, just called you chat. I'm not live. I do that way too much because I stream a lot now. Check me out on Twitch. Appreciate it. Join the family. If you promise to like this video right now and maybe even tiptoe over to the subscribe button. In fact, if you hit the notification bell, if you could make that promise to me right now, I will buy both. I'm waiting. You did it? All right. Now, I know what you're thinking. It is $117. Look, uh, are we gonna be those people to stop me from having a nice time based on just a little something called mortgage. <laughs> so I've never actually dived into this world of keyboard and mouse on the Switch. I just think that this actually looks kind of sick though. It's $117 down from 200. There are some rare occasions where AliExpress just sells things that aren't bad. <laughs> and I'm really hoping this is one of those occasions because I am adding it to cart. This is interesting, okay? It I'm interested. You can't just make Joy-Cons. That's not okay. That's not legal. What I'm used to is finding these knockoff variation of Joy-Cons, like these weirdos. Quirky Joy-Cons that clearly aren't infringing on copyright laws. And now, all of a sudden, on AliExpress, I've never seen these before. They're literally straight up selling Joy-Cons, but I know they're fake because they're selling some of the rare ones. Steven just sent me the rarest Nintendo Switch there is. These are the Joy-Cons from that. There's no way they've ripped them out of that and they're trying to sell them separately. So I could buy these and compare them to the real ones, but um, I saw uh, these ones here. They're not a copy of anything. These are just straight fire. So sure, I could buy like the rarest Joy-Cons in the world and compare them to the real ones and the fake ones, which would actually be really good for the thumbnail and the, maybe even the title. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Uh, but I'm going to buy these ones instead.
as well as. And now I kind of want to buy these weird ones too. They look like normal Switch controllers, but obviously they're like curved and they have a, a fatter back. Let's go back to clear. I used to have clear. Let's go back to clear. Oh, sick. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty smart. It's two and you like slide. Okay, well, all right. Well, and that's a card. We have had a lot of Joy-Cons, just straight Joy-Cons in this video, but these I think are the cheapest ones I've seen ever. I mean, they're $12. I don't think you can get cheaper than $12 dollar joy cons that's fine it's five just fine oh okay that hurt that hurt that hurt that hurt. the first ever batch of aliexpress stuff shipped to the new house oh, i don't know how long it's gonna take to get here i assume just as long as normal many 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 weeks to the point where i'll probably forget why i bought most of this stuff uh i guess i'll see you then oh well we got nothing but time now so i guess we may as well uh play uh a nice audiobook. Well, you think I was gonna say video game? No, I, I listen to audiobooks. I don't read, but I listen. <laughs> Audible is the best place to listen for whatever you're interested in. From best-selling audiobooks in every genre to exclusive Audible originals to popular podcasts and more. You know, I actually heard one of the top gaming podcasts is on Audible and you can listen to it right now. That's the Nintendo podcast. Couple of great guys behind that one, if you ask me. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre. You guys know that I, other than my own podcast, listen to a bunch of stuff on Audible. But I've listened to Reggie's Disrupting the Game on Audible. And this is uh, random, but one of my favorite childhood series, Wicked. I read those so many times growing up. It's on here. The depths of Audible seemingly has everything. But on top of that, Audible has their own originals you can listen to as well. And as an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog. Th that counts for new releases and bestsellers. I mean, you can support this channel by supporting my podcast by listening to it on Audible, which also supports me right now. It's very confusing. But you know what's not confusing? Getting Audible for free for 30 days by going to audible.com forward slash beat-em-ups or texting beat-em-ups to 500-500. All right, I think the stuff is here. It's been a month. I've been sat here talking about Audible for a month and now everything is already here. They have to think I'm crazy every time I order all of this stuff. $500 worth of fake console. Somebody packing the order at AliExpress is looking at me like, you know they're not real, right? Well, <laughs> wait, 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 what did I buy? It's been over a month. This is the doubles joystick. Two players can play at the same time controller. I really should have downloaded something to really test this on. The game they've got here on the back, Looks like Street Fighter V. Zach might cut this for time, but almost everyone, I feel like it's already cut. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the mercy of my editor now. All these fake products that I buy, so many of them use Street Fighter V as the display on the Switch, but Street Fighter V isn't even on Switch. I don't know why they choose this game to promote all their products because it's not really a game that a lot of people are like on crazy over. You can do GTA, you can do anything. Like why is Street Fighter V the one that you choose? I'm not really a fighting stick kind of guy, so I don't know what I'm looking for here, but these feel kind of nice. Ooh! It paired two controllers when I plugged it in. And little red lights are on on both of these. It seems like they're both paired. However, this isn't currently doing anything. Maybe I should read instructions. Hold on. I mean, it says it should just be working. This should be working, but I can't get the sticks to register as a controller at all. All right, next. Wireless controller, neon RGB lighting. I have tried buying so many of these RPG controllers and they never look good. It's actually a very nice feeling controller. The plastic feels kind of glassy and I don't want to say cheap, but kinda. But everything else kind of feels like I'm just holding a pro controller. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, that really ain't too bad looking. I think I've managed to lock it on this nice turquoise and blue color, which I kind of like. That light is flickering on camera, but it's not actually flickering in real life. I could easily see me playing a game like this, no problem. I wish I had better control over the RGB element, but other than that, this one is definitely Definitely a winner. Oh, why did this one come with a little stand? Thank you for your business. Hope you enjoy your gift. Oh, I get, I got a gift. That's a bad gift. Um, I 
Why did I buy this? Did I really just buy this because it's a Pokeball color? The back sticks don't feel very good. They're, again, very loose. The buttons feel super cheap. This A button doesn't really even have much give to it. Yeah, I don't like that. That's actually down there with that thing. Those two can sit together. I am... This is a connector for your Switch, and it'll receive a PlayStation 5 controller. I kind of remember buying a PlayStation 5 controller, but I didn't buy this. Have you guys ever seen the movie Severance? That's how I feel right now. He would like go to work, and then he wouldn't remember anything from his job and vice versa. There was like two different people. That's how I feel. Why did I buy this? Did I buy this because it looked like the PlayStation 5 controller was mini? No, there's no mini PlayStation 5 controller. It was a terrible Photoshop. Oh, these were like the really good looking fake Joy-Cons. And I wanted to compare them to the real Disney ones. Oh, they're so light. Is there anything actually in these? Let me very carefully open the most expensive Nintendo Switch there is. They're two very different shades of pink. This is a hot pink, and this is a very muted kind of pastel pink. The biggest difference here is the pattern they've put on here, the diamonds and the circles and the spades. It's like a bright white, while this is a very low opacity white. And then the Mickey ears look completely different. Also, it feels rubber, almost like it has a silicone mold on it, where this is very clearly a nice plastic. I kind of recall paying like $17 for these, and they do, for all intents and purposes, feel like Joy-Con. They're really good whatever they are. Fake, knockoff, whatever it is, they're good. Well, now I'm a little more excited for these and their own weird Pikachu design that they must have come up with. That actually looks pretty cool. They even work pretty nicely with my yellow grip. This would be the first time I bought anything from this website and continued on after to the video to use them and not shove them in a box in a closet. We got a third one. I don't I don't remember what this was though. Oh, ew, 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 ew. Oh, they're fat at the bottom. They have little butts. I don't remember buying these. Did these have LEDs? Why did I buy these? Oh, the D-pad is weird too. No, I don't like it. I'm gonna plug them in and see if they light up or something. No, they don't have LEDs on here. Wait, was the reason why I bought this? I'm remembering something now. Didn't it say it had an NFC? E-reader and that's what I want. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad I remembered. Since I already have Smash logged in, let's see. Touch an amiibo. Alright, so it AliExpress, I just I feel like you continue to hurt my feelings. This isn't the kind of toxic relationship I want to enter with you after spending half a thousand dollars on your website. It says there's no controllers connected that support NFC. Uh, when I was setting up everything to do B-roll for this video, it worked. So, I don't know why it wasn't working, but it, it does, it, 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 it works. $25 for this. Uh, it's actually pretty impressive. That said, I want to show you guys these really quickly because I don't know where else I'll get to. I mean, I did show them on my podcast, but I know you all don't watch that. I got these at a convention recently and they are amazing. Someone made these car Kirby amiibos. So they actually work as Kirby amiibos. I love them so much. They did such a good job. I'll leave a link down below if you want to grab some. Oh, thank God. Oh, Lord. I thought this was the controller as I was pulling it out. I was like, what is this monstrosity? This is the one that came with a free case. What is this monstrosity? Ew! What is this? The sticks are so tiny. They're like the nub on a 3DS. The triggers. I don't even know if I want to call them triggers. My little fingers can't even find them. This is disgusting. Alright. We got a couple of things in here as well. Oh, yeah! Now these, I wanted. It has Toei animation on it, which tells me that whatever brand this is that we don't have here must be some sort of quality. Like this company ain't getting the Dragon Ball collab, if you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, these aren't bad. They have this really nice textured back to them. So you got an extra button back here, so you can map two buttons to the back while you play. The top buttons are serviceable. Honestly, I'd get used to them, but they're not my favorite. The buttons feel fine. The D-pad is a little too squishy for my liking. Oh, they're wireless as well. So many third-party Joy-Cons that I've tried. They don't do the whole wireless thing. So the fact that I can take these off and actually throw them in something like this and use them as a pro controller if I wanted is a huge advantage. Okay, we got yellow. 
green. Blue. Oh, dude, blue. These are fantastic. Oh my god, baby. I put it on charge. I put the switch on charge and everything started charging. Those are also a winner. I might actually recommend these. I'm gonna do it. These are sick. I mean, these are cool too. I, I, I mean, oh, the green. Yo, I don't even have to go any further. I think the green is the obvious go here with this one. I thought I would prefer the Arceus, but I think I'm just vibing with these Dragon Ball ones. I'm usually not that much of a nerdy weeb to want to have an anime on my Switch, but I mean, Dragon Ball, my guy. I've never had this many Joy-Cons and controllers connected to my Switch at once. These are probably the cheapest Joy-Cons I've ever seen. They are not trying in any way to look or feel like actual Joy-Cons. These are the kind of Joy-Cons that will only work when they're plugged into the Switch. They do not have any wireless functionality. Also, you can't play them just one because there's no buttons here. So you can't do that for Mario Kart. The buttons feel fine, honestly. I can't be too harsh on the buttons. It's just the sticks. The sticks are really bad. But other than that, I kind of dig the retro vibe it's giving the console. I don't know, man. I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I guess I bought these because the handles were in an interesting position. Oh, that is weird. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. All right. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is kind of unique. This back plate comes off of here and it turns it into just this. But then if you want to add the extra legs, you can click this on and then it becomes a thingy. I had this feeling with the bunny ears, a little, they're pretty cute actually. Really in a bad place to have your thumbs end up positioning well on the Joy-Con. I think I just really appreciate the unique idea that I can then take this off and continue to use it like this. Every time I've opened something today and gone, why did I buy this? I realize, oh, that's why I bought it. I need to put more faith into the severance to me from a month ago. That guy really knows what he's doing. What a smart and brilliant guy. Oh, what? No way. This is the last thing. Oh, yeah. Why did I buy this? <laughs> this thing's kind of fire though clear some room i am excited oh dude oh whoa. there's no way it just plugs into the switch and works right oh my god that is lighting up that is on surprising no one i am doing something wrong open the system settings of all the steps controller senses pro controller wired communication and turn it on oh wait it is off oh shoot that was off <gasps> Yo, I'm using a mouse on the home screen right now. I have done these videos before and I've had to turn that setting on. So I thought it was still on, but I guess at some point it got turned off because it's my OLED switch. I haven't done one of these for the OLED yet. I mean, I'm controlling it, but how do I? I took a screenshot just then. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm about to delete something. Let me get my Switch over here and see if it works. I'm gonna try and load up Smash and see if I can play it. Let me get this camera around. This is going to be weird. I can't look around with the mouse in here anymore, which is a shame, but I can use this thing here. I have an actual smile on my face doing this just because it's so quirky, it's weird. Let's go something easy. I'll go Captain Falcon, the easiest character to play in Smash. That's why Bob uses him. That's taunting. Oh yeah, because it's the D-pad. I think. I kind of have to use this little toggle here. I cannot for the life of me. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay, so that. Oh, oh, I figured it out. Oh, I can do this now. Am I actually better with this thing? That's a yes. Goodbye. I do wish I could use the actual mouse here. Oh, wait. It is actually doing something. It must be the right analog stick because it's doing the smash abilities. Weirdly, only that one smash ability, though. So I can do it. A... Uh oh, uh oh. God dang it. I can taunt with the mouse wheel. I can smash attack by moving the mouse side to side. I can grab with the buttons here. Oh yeah, if I hold down the mouse click, I block and dodge. I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Dude, good night. All right, one more stock and I'll feel very accomplished for doing this. Welcome. <laughs> okay, just stand there for me, Daisy. Yes! Super cool product. Really easy to use. You just plug in this dongle, turn this on. Also, it feels really quality, but I do remember paying like $100 for it, but this thing is really heavy. I personally have zero practical use for it, but I really like it. While we are in Smash, I think we owe it to this thing because I'm pretty sure it was just my fault earlier. Now that we have the right setting turned on... <laughs> Boom, baby. Yo, 
look at that. I take back everything I said. And we're gonna slide these suckers out. And then if I had a friend here, which I don't, they would be on this side while I'm over here. And it just works. It makes so much sense. Oh god. The battery is dying in the camera. It just died while I was playing Smash. This thing works really well. And I feel like I did a bad job at the start of representing it. I think we did great in general today. Every time I make one of these, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna find cool stuff again. Surely I found all of the cool stuff. And then I make one of these videos and I find all of this cool stuff. If you guys like this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You watching this is what makes these possible. They're very expensive. They're very time consuming. It means the world to me that you enjoy them and I love making them. See ya. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best.